before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting. And this may be his last title shot if he doesn't get the win tonight. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you got to win. Or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work from the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He was prepared. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champion. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out if he's got the goods to be a champion. flyweight champion Alessandre Pantoja pro debut at 17 years of age in Rio de Janeiro Brazil finally breaks through to win the undisputed UFC title at 33 years of age he is as watchable and as well-rounded as any fighter in the sport and in advance of his first title defense at our fighter meeting he said now the focus is getting my pound for pound due I know I'm the best flyweight in the world I'm out to prove that again tonight and I want to show the masses that I can be the pound-for-pound pound king, and he might just be that guy. All right, with that, both fighters have now graced the octagon. They will lock the door behind them, ready to go with a crazy fight here in T-Mobile the ring in Las Vegas today. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. If you the first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the right corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Alejandro the Cannibal Pantoja. Herb Dean, third party in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. All right, a lot of fans curious to see how this fight and this round will play out. For one, Alessandre Pantoja, he has been on the cusp of the UFC flyweight title shot for his entire UFC career. Injuries have been a part of the narrative, but when this man is healthy and able to compete, he's a real problem. Whether knocking out Matt Schnell or submitting Brandon Royval, this man can beat you every which way but sideways and believes he has a favorable matchup with which to showcase his skills tonight. Just misses there with the left. All right, early round action here, and a nice leg kick. You don't see a lot of those in the squared circle, DC. Well, and when you're a predominantly a boxer, when you're a boxer, you don't expect many kicks. You have a wider stance. So that opens up the kick, and we see the balanced fighter go into that, knowing that that was an advantage that he has in this fight. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Great block there. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Big power shot there. Oh, man, both of these guys can really take a shot. Oh, and the high kick lands. 
unfortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Choi. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Looked like he flipped him with a left hand counter there. He's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. But he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Getting the ball here. This is where he wants to be. Good movement defensively here on the ground by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attempt. Oh, my goodness. He might have it. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Nice strike. Under two minutes now to go round one. Ooh, big shot, man. There's the kick, it's blocked. Nice one, two there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Takedown defense is there. Establishing the jab here. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Great job finding an opening and landing a beautiful punch from the clinch. Kick lands. Pantoja's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, the beautiful straight right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. That's how you control the fight. Keep fighting behind the jab. Well, mixing it up beautifully tonight. Now he touches him with the left. Oh, nice takedown defense. 15 seconds to go. first round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. A hook to the head by Pantoja. Continuing to go to the head. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Just misses with the left hook. Let's go. More, more, more. That's working. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. All right, so we told you off the top, if this boxer wanted the best chance at victory tonight, he had to keep the fight upright. So far, so good. Yeah, he's done that. And he's done a fantastic job of staying upright, giving himself an opportunity. 
You can see all the work that they have done with this guy to help him improve in that area that he was lacking in early in his career. Pantoja's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to Combinations here. Pantoja's been dealing with that kind of for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pick. Choi gets hit with a kick. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Another big kick out. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Straight right hand, no good. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head. Oh, beautiful diving strike land. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Right. But he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Pantoja's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. All right, so the ref is going to step in here, yes, and call on the doctor to look at that nose job. Might need one after this fight. <laughs> he might, because his face looks so different. He's unrecognizable from yesterday. The blood has really become a problem for him. All right, looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but Ready, here we fight. go. Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back underway. Gets us right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Pantoja's cut has really opened up now, folks. I don't necessarily have to tell you that watching at home. Looks like you could stick a quarter in there, and I'm not sure how much longer this fight is going to continue. He checked that last one. Under a minute now to go in the round. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. Oh, nice double leg, guys. Takes his back. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. Beautiful defense. Nice pass. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Lands a nice leg kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Pantoja gets back up again. Heading back to the corner now, and Pantoja's nose is thankful that's the end of the round. Got to be broken. A lot of blood coming out of that nose area. And we'll see if they indeed call on the ringside physician to take a closer look.
All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, blocked the shot there and delivers the straight counter. Oh, nice jab. That leg kick lands. Nice, solid punch. Man. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was... Good defense blocking that punch. Single leg takedown attempt here, and did that get you out of your seat? Beautifully done by him there. Oh, punch man, up. I jumped up. Pantoja's is trying for a submission here. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. The arm triangle's getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side of the body. He's got to get his body on the side of the lock and get the finish. that deep submission attempt. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Now he's going full mount. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. In the half guard. Good work from the top here by Pantoja. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Big ground and pound. Nice shot there by the champ. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Choi's left leg is damaged now. You can see he is limping. It was that last kick from his opponent that appeared to do the bulk of the damage. Immediately gets the underhook. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side push. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. And the kick lands. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. now and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half court. Absolutely more offensive options because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand up. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the knees. Oh, he got out. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. All right, he remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts, he has given himself a chance to win this fight. I've never been submitted. You never have? Nope. Yeah, I, I have. <laughs> Pantoja's in half court. Working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, big punt. Oh, oh he's dropping. Final 30 seconds of this third round. And there it is! The Korean Superboy 
does it again! Jeez Louise! We get the official decision from Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 33 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Duho Choi is the name, ladies and gentlemen. A huge win for the Korean Superboy here tonight. And this is a kid who is just getting started. A scary proposition for the rest of this featherweight division. But we've already started to see major strides made when it comes to his skill development. This might be a UFC champion before it's all said and done.